The reason why actors get into all that result-oriented stuff is because they make a mistake right at the core and, and beginning of, 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 of how they approach scenes. And because they make this mistake, they're suddenly at the prey to all the result-oriented teachers. And there's great teachers in LA, and I can tell you some of them if you want to know afterwards. But I'm talking about the result-oriented, fear-based teachers who make you miserable. Anyway, here's the mistake actors make. They pick up a script and they go, this is a scene. You're fucked from the outset. <laughs> because as soon as you say, this is a scene, your vulture gets involved and it goes, a scene? What should it look like and sound like? What are the actions, beats, objectives? What are my thoughts going to be on each line? Uh, what could be some substitution and dream work that I... Anyway, the point is, it's like all of that stuff that Walter's saying puts a fear-based cloud over the text, and you can't even see what's happening in the scene anymore. So the way that you blow that fog away is do what I do. So when I see those actors and they're facing the wall practicing or looking at all their notes from the night before, is I sit down, I look at the script, and I say... This is really happening to me. That's it. And then it's so easy to see what's literally, obviously happening to me in every moment. And those are called the circumstances. Then my job as an actress is to just go into that audition room and approach those circumstances as if it's really happening to me for the first time, or what I call approach them like an improv. Boy, I mean, it's like, that's it. But see, the, the result-oriented teachers or, or coaches will go, well, that's not enough. That can't be enough. Acting's hard work. They go, you can't just do that. You have to plan out all the thoughts, come up with substitutions, spend three hours daydreaming. You have to, I don't know, all this stuff. And here's what I have to say about all that stuff. It happens magically in the performance. Right? Because acting is an art that happens when you're acting. Not the night before when you're huddled over the paper planning all this stuff. But see, what they do is they go, and what we do to ourselves is we go, oh, I'm not ready. I have to be over there to do the scene. I have to have done this many hours of work on it. I have to, um, you know, I have to not feel the way I'm feeling. You know, by creating a reality where you have to be over there to do the scene, you're screwed from the outset because your vulture won't let you get there but one in a hundred times. And so that's why my affirmation is so important to me to say, I'm going to take it from where I am, however I'm feeling, and however prepared I am is a fine place to begin this scene.